Hi, Kelly Warden here. Thanks for joining us on this production of Combat Cane, Walking Stick. Combat Cane or Walking Stick, it's your decision, straight or curved. Right now I'm going to demonstrate or show you uh, the Newt Livesey Combat Cane. It's got hand grips here for center pole action, center pole shaft that's triangulated, and a very efficient hook. In this video we're going to focus on different elements the bottom of the cane or the tip of the weapon, the hook for hooking and striking, and the center shaft for body movement and moving somebody around. All right? We have a circle around us. I consider that you know, the circle of safety, arm's length. If a guy steps inside that arm length, now it becomes an issue of action versus reaction. I have to have the ability to read his intent then I have to have the ability to respond or react to his aggression. So I want a certain amount of distance, a certain amount of space, and at the same time, I don't want to be set on edge. My awareness factor should tell me that when this guy enters my space with physical intent or verbal aggression, that the game is on. At that point, I need to position myself accordingly. I may be holding the cane in a hook position by the hook, but ideally I want to slide down more towards the shaft so I can engage immediately or gain a, a strategic position with my cane or my walking stick. That makes sense? Practice that. Have your cane in your hand, whether it's forward hook out or forward hook back, and slide down. Now you could also be standing naturally and slide down and step back. This is a more relaxed position. As you present your hand, Hands present a passive, not aggression. I could be like this or I could be like this, but witnesses, these are, the area, these are the people around you that may see it. A witness can be a strategic advantage or can be a disadvantage. If I look like the aggressor, it's going to be a disadvantage to me if a police officer shows up or if a report is filed. So that being said, I'm looking very passive. I may just be walking along. The guy approaches me. I take a step back to assure that I've got proper range and distance. My hand position not only can be passive, but at the same time, it can create a distraction. So I could be here very passive, but I could be aggressively in his face to create a deception. He brings his hands up, that opens up the initial strike to the groin. I don't need this to be a fast or a hard or a powerful stroke. I just need it to be a, a positional stroke so that I can gain access to the shaft. And then from there, my decision on what technique or what target I will utilize comes from line familiarization. That's a big word for me, but try it yourself, line familiarization. Okay, about single direct attack, let's go in. That's what the numbering system is. Numbering system to me is 10 targets that work well for me through my training, through my practice, through, uh, you know, um, responses from different individuals who says, oh, I got in a self-defense situation today, this technique really worked well for me. That's the feedback I get from thousands of students worldwide. Back, I've repositioned myself on the shaft so that I've got better grip on the handle. Ideally, I'm just coming right up into the groin. That doesn't take much, but I don't think Christian wants that snapping him in the groin either, okay? So that's a very quick, easy strike. You can see a heel palm coming right in there. Now my center shaft, that would be a solar plex shot. So that's one and two. Those are considered single direct attacks. As she steps in, I go like this. There's my target right there. Okay. Now there's my secondary target. It allows me to come into here. If Christian reaches for me, I can move that like that. And now I'm into a foot trap right down there and into a uh, hook in strike. So it could be here at any point in time. And one of the key strikes we'll utilize as we go through our single direct attack is the low line shots. Target one, shift, step back, hand position, groin strike, target two, center pull, wide grip, tip strike, target three, outward strike, high. This gives me a high hammer fist position is basically what you're looking at. So if you look at it down here, if I'm here and Christian reaches for me, I could hammer fist or block straight through like this. Now that could turn into a deflection or a finger jab or a visual determinant and at the same time attachment and groin strike. 
I can pull in, hit him again, and then take him out at the ankle. 